So this is Charlie, and this is Barfington, Nose River. Barfington is a stray cat, well, at least homeless, well, who lives in the gazebo, but they become pals. It's pretty cute. They liked each other from the first day. I mean, the cat is not afraid to kick Charlie's butt when she um, acts up, which mostly consists of sniffing the cat's butt. But I think it's pretty adorable. Uh, the, the cat uh, looks like uh, at least uh, a year old or so. And Charlie's coming up on three months. And they're pals. So I think that's kind of cool. Anyway, that's about it. We're in the gazebo. I guess I haven't really shown the backyard. Um, that's our house. There. Some backyard stuff. Got some oil paintings for five bucks. They're replicas of real oil paintings. Well, that one I think is an original. Got that at a thrift store. Anyways, um, we're just going to uh, eventually wallpaper the entire backyard with that. This is old uh, barn glass uh, from a, an old uh, antique barn. There's Barfington. Barfington does not come inside. Uh, rather, uh, inhabits the, uh, the outdoors. Neighbor's yard's there. Some garden stuff, which I'm clueless about, uh, but hoping to get help soon. And this is our gazebo here. It's all right. And then a bunch of sheds in the uh, the back. Who am I kidding? The gazebo is pretty cool. We've got bar fridge there, hot and cold running water, uh, lights. Uh, it's got hydro power and whatnot. Yada yada yada, and a space for. Cable TV. That's where the TV is going to go as soon as I get a cheap one on uh, uh, online. Well, there's a website in Canada called Kijiji, which is pretty great for that. Charlie is sniffing stuff. Barfington is chilling. And again, uh, this is all tent fabric here, uh, the, the panels. Uh, it's pretty cool. I actually, these were destroyed by squirrels over the winter, and I was a handyman and I replaced them. Harder than it sounds, actually. I still have to get uh, a couple of panels over there that have uh, been a bit shredded. But I'll get to them. This is old stained glass from uh, um, the same barn that provided the boards to make the gazebo and uh, skylight there so we don't gas ourselves. Um, it's a place for a barbecue here, which we have not installed yet. Uh, this is all concrete here. And again, the uh, um, some storage under there and a bar fridge. Shall I show the bar fridge? Complete with beer. And uh, audio, that's a wireless speaker system. You just plug the iPod in and it uh, does its thing. Anyways, moving on back, more foliage. I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Um, I'm hoping it's not poisonous to dogs or cats. And I'm hoping none of it's illegal either. That would suck. Got a big shed here. Second shed there. Uh, they're all wired up with uh, um, hydro and, uh, and whatnot. Got a greenhouse here. Again, more antique stuff. And then another greenhouse. Or not a greenhouse, uh, a shed here. So uh, we're full of sheds. Uh, back there is uh, highway. Well, there's a, an, an embankment. There's a parkway over there. And uh, off in the distance is a, uh, is a highway. I th we think it's uh, the QEW, or maybe it's the 407, or maybe it's the 403. Don't know. Um, no honkings of horns or anything like that. It's, uh, it's pretty peaceful, actually, uh, uh, out, uh, out there. Just the sort of whoosh of, uh, of traffic sounds kind of like the ocean. Barfington chilling. Uh, fire pit here with the Darth Vader helmet. Clearly, we haven't fired it up yet uh, for the uh, uh, spring. Charlie sniffing, cat sniffing. Uh, these are kind of cool. Uh, these uh, uh, lights here, uh, they're a few hundred watts. Uh, they totally light up uh, the uh, uh, the place at night. And uh, this is a free form artistic sculpture left by the previous owners. The previous owners, uh, uh, we haven't, oh, they're being cute here. See, we can all just get along. I mean, most of us can get along. I don't know if I want to go to the extreme of sniffing someone else's butt, but it's uh, it's nice to see that they're uh, they're mostly peaceful. Again, the cat will kick Charlie's butt. <laughs> she clubbed her the other day uh, without claws, which I thought was nice uh, when Charlie was uh, on the cat's blanket, 
and uh, decided to tunnel under it like uh, a tunneling dog. The cat just sort of stretched, got up, and whack, knocked her right off the, uh, uh, the bench. So there's a better view of the uh, gazebo here. Some more rocks and stuff. Uh, it really is uh, quite, uh, quite gorgeous, I'm, uh, I'm not going to lie. And it's a great place to sit and uh, chillax after a long day's flying, which we do there. Get some tunes on. Lately, been listening to old stuff. You uh, two, Chris Isaac, uh, whatnot. It's uh, it's quite peaceful, and the neighbors with their backyard setups, which are nice, but they are not in the same league as uh, as this. Hey, I'm not taking credit for it. I didn't build this at all. We just bought it. Um, but man, I love this place. And this is just the outside. Uh, shortly, I'll uh, I'll do a tour of uh, the inside. I know I've been sort of uh, neglecting that. Um, Oh yeah, and if you can identify any of these plants, please let me know. Haven't a clue. It's still spring though, right? So uh, I assume if man-eating vines uh, come up and stuff, I'll have some sort of advance notice uh, on that. It's a great place for a puppy to run around, and uh, the uh, uh, fences are, uh, fence posts are just a little bit too small for a, a dog to squeeze its head through. Um, at least once I plug the three gaps in it uh, that I've uh, found so far that were big enough for a dog to squeeze its head through. But it's a great place for a puppy to party and do very important puppy work. And cat work, yeah. This important cat work needs to be done too. Anyways, uh, that's it. Uh, we'll do a tour of the, uh, the inside of the house um, later on. Silly out. Good girl!